All right, let's see if you got it. So take your notes. I'm going to draw this picture. So I'm emphasizing that I'm working in a four cube, but I want to see the four cube in the inductive setting as a three cube cross a two element chain. Now let's take what we just did. We just found symmetric chain partitions on these subsets, and they look like this. All right, now, where is the middle level? The middle level is right here. So none of the chains are symmetric about the middle. Fix that. Fix that and quickly obtain a symmetric chain partition of the four cube. All right, if you know what you're doing, keep working. If you're a little bit lost, let's do it together up here. And I'm going to, I'm going to switch over from blue to red, and I'm going to attempt to make the correct chain partition on top of this figure just by marking it with, with red. So here's the starting point. This is an important starting point. You have a chain partition here, and you have a chain partition here. The chains are now in pairs. Here's this long one, it's paired with that one. Here's this one, it's paired with that one. Here's this one, and it's paired with that one. You work on the, on the chains two at a time. Two at a time. So you take this long one and this long one, and what do you do? You go up this one. And then keep on going and chop off the top of that one. Now you've lost the top of that one, so what's left is this. And see, those two chains are now symmetric. And now we just repeat that process. This chain is paired with that chain, so I go up this guy, and I keep going like this. Then I chop that one off, and this one becomes a one element chain. This one is paired with that one. So I go up this guy, and then go over and chop off the top of this guy. And then what's left is that. So how many chains do I have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, the right number. All right, now, let's think together and be selectively lazy about the next step. I could form a five cube by taking two copies of this picture. And I copy the red chains and the red chains, just like that. None of the red chains are symmetric anymore. But they come in pairs, and there are six pairs, right? How many chains will I get after I carry out the induction? 
Won't I get 6 times 2 is 12? No, why not? When I take that long red one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I got a red one like this, a 5. I got a red one like this one, a 5. But when I do my induction, I go around and go over like that, I get a 6 and a 4. The two 5s turn into a 6 and a 4. There are several chains of size 3. When I take a 3 and a 3 and apply my operation, the 3 and the 3 turn into a 4 and a 2. But now they're symmetric. But I have chains of size 1. When I take a 1 and a 1, what do I get? One chain of size 2. And then I do it again. I have another 1. I get a 1 and a 1, and I get a 2. That sounds like a dance routine, right? A 1 and I had to work real hard to get to that joke. <laughs> and, and nobody appreciates it. Okay. A one and a one. Okay. And a two. So, the number of chains that you get when you go to five cube, four times, in four of the instances of the six, you double the chains. That's eight. In the other two instances, you don't double them. You take two singletons to get one. Eight plus two is ten. And 10 is 5 choose 2, that's the right number. 